Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a quick video today and it's all about starters for the 928 and in front of me here on my workbench or table I have three starters that uh, that all fit the 928. Um, here we have the stock Bosch starter. This guy is uh, over 30 years old. I don't think it's ever been rebuilt, not that I can tell. Um, and it finally just gave up on me a few weeks ago when it uh, just refused to start the car. So that's that. Uh, luckily the car's manual, so I was able to get it bump started and get it home. So with that said, I thought instead of rebuilding this stock one, which would be, you know, 150 bucks, maybe 200, uh, 150 bucks. Um, I thought let's go ahead and up, upgrade the starter on the car with something that is lightweight with more torque and uh, and just more compact technology has really improved over the last 30 years. And what you see in front of me here are two starters. This one here is from 928 Motorsports. This one here is from a vendor in California. And, and this one is quite inexpensive. It's $150. Uh, the 928 Motorsports is a bit more. Um, I think it's it's over 200 but still um, in the grand scheme of things, uh, still a good buy. And I, I bought these two guys here just to try it, try them. This one here, the price of course is good. It's, you can't clock this. So the way it's sent to you is the way it has to be installed. There's a, there's a little bit of a problem with it in that when it's installed, the these wires right here actually are, are really tight against the bottom of the oil pan and you have to use quite a bit of force to line up the holes on the flange here with the bell housing and you have to definitely put some elbow into it and it means it pinches these wires down right here um, I think long term it what will happen is it's probably going to rub um, this rubber insulation off and and that potentially could could cause it to arc. Um, so I had a bit of a concern with using this, even though um, it would be it would have been a good option if it was clockable. So um, that made this starter not a good option for the 928. On the 928 Motorsport starter, it's a it's a nice unit. Um, and the cool thing is it has this machined aluminum flange here that's adjustable so you can clock it. And what I did is when I got it, the, uh, the starter actually was oriented with the two bolts in these two extreme holes. But when I mocked it up, it actually fits better, uh, moved over a few degrees to this configuration that you see right now. So the second hole's in. Um, the reason I did that is it gives me a little bit more room to, to fish the top bolt through into the bell housing. Plus it gives a little bit more clearance to the, these wires here from the bottom of the oil pan. So that way there's uh, just a little bit more, more room to clear the oil pan. So anyway, this is going to be a, a great um, upgrade for the car. The next video I shoot will have it installed and then I'll fire up the car. And I'm looking forward to uh, to shooting that video. A um, Couple other things I wanted to mention is uh, you can actually use this starter or any of these, of course, with the stock clutch line, um, which is the hard line and a rubber line, which I'll come over here and show that to you. So here's this, here's the stock setup. Um, here's the rubber line that goes from the chassis. And here's the hard line that goes um, against the oil pan to the slave. My, my lines were in good shape. This is all in good shape. Everything is in decent shape. But I find that uh, it's a little bit close in terms of clearance between these new starters or the new starter and the clutch line. So what I'm gonna do is upgrade to this longer one piece flexible clutch line, which replaces those two, that hard line and rubber line. 
and this will actually go underneath the starter so I don't have to worry about trying to squeeze this between the top of the starter and bottom of the oil pan I hope that makes sense and this is uh, it's cool it comes with um, the banjo bolt and the copper crush washers so it's a complete well-made Goodrich line that'll last a long time so um, it means of course you have to bleed the clutch and uh, one thing I noticed on my car is um, at some point I had a negligent owner mechanic who destroyed, I don't know if you can see that, the, the hex head on the bleed valve or the bleed nipple. And so um, I had to end up getting a Porsche 944 slave cylinder just to get a new bleed valve. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the parts store and see if I can even match this up in the interim. But just as a quick fix, I ended up going and buying a whole brand new 944 clutch slave, which, is, which ca carries the same bleed valve as a 928. And guys, this is a 7 millimeter um, hex head or hex fitting. So don't use anything but a seven millimeter. I went and got a seven millimeter wrench. I have a lot of tools. I didn't even have a seven millimeter, but I bought this off Amazon Prime for a few bucks. And that came in yesterday. And having the right tools means you don't have to ruin your car and the parts on it. So that's one thing. Um, the last thing to mention, I think that it's worth mentioning is uh, the good thing with these smaller compact starters is you don't have to drop this the sway bar this original starter is so huge and so bulky especially with this little nose here that you have to drop the sway bar to actually get the starter out of the car the, these new smaller ones boom no sway bar needs needs to be removed so that's good that makes life a lot easier um, another thing i wanted to mention is I'm a huge fan and proponent of cleaning all the fasteners once they're removed. So these are the swear bar bolts. And uh, I actually use a thread chaser and clean all the threads up. And this might be hard to see in this video, but they're nice and sharp and they had a lot of junk on them. And it, uh, it just means it's going to go back nice and tight and get good torque on them. And uh, just these 30 something year old fasteners, it's just good to to run them up with a, a tap and die and I always keep my tap and die kit which is down here next to me. I, I, I tap and die every single hole. You know, here's uh, here's one of the the nuts and you know, for the sway bar. This is for the left side and uh, you couldn't even hand tighten this before and uh, I'm going to do it right now I, I uh, just with two fingers and look at how beautiful that is guys. See, so I couldn't do that with two hands before, but once I've chased the threads and cleaned them up, it's uh, it moves like it should. I'm a big, big fan of, of really taking care of your fasteners. So I know it takes more time, but really it's worth the effort. So I just wanted to mention that as well. And uh, so, yeah. Thanks for checking this video out and uh, stay tuned. I got, uh, got some more cool things coming on the car and uh, I'll be sharing that here with you guys pretty soon. And the next video um, will be with the 928 Motorsports starter installed, the new clutch line installed, and then I'll fire up the car for you guys. So enjoy, take care, have a good weekend.